Today, I'm unboxing a coma corrector, and it may surprise you that I didn't 3D print one. So to make a good image, the light from your stars has to converge or is expected to converge at the same point. When it gets to the uh, sensor in the camera, it actually spreads out and it spreads out not from the, not in the center of the image, but in the outer edges of the image. And it gives the stars an egg shaped look. So if you're looking at the stars on your photo and the center is nice and round, but you go to the edges and they're all nice and egg shaped or different, then you've got to address that with your uh, with the coma corrector. So the coma corrector is going to solve those problems by forcing the light to converge at focus. Here is the coma corrector, and this is from uh, Bader Planetarium. So this is the Bader Planetarium, the MPCC uh, Mark IV or Mark III version one for visual and photographic use. There we go. Okay. And finally, finally, this is a spacer. Any telescope that uses parabolic mirrors. Parabolic mirrors cause coma, and coma presents itself as egg shaped stars on the outer edges of your photo. So here's the finished assembly Canon T3i uh, camera with my 3D printed T ring adapter, which fits into the eyepiece adapter that came with the Beta Planetarium coma corrector. Then I have the coma corrector, and then I have the spacer. So now I can just thread this directly into the focus tube and I have my camera attached to the telescope. So a few changes have been made. One, I took out that large spacer, so it's connected directly to the draw tube. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to lose the ability to focus. So for those of you already writing in the comments about back focus, I found out and I found out the hard way. I needed to have a 55 millimeter back focus between the coma corrector and the camera sensor and I didn't have it. So back to the drawing board for me, I got to do some 3D printing, I'm going to make this right. So in order to get the 55 millimeters of back focus, I had to get rid of this. This is my problem. This T-ring adapter is too long, so it pushed the coma corrector too far away from the camera sensor. Went, a bit, went ahead and designed a replacement which has a lower profile. It's much larger diameter, which means I can start using two inch filters if I wanted to. Um, and it's a T-ring adapter, of course, it connects directly to the camera. So the result is now this. So now what I've got is my T-ring adapter, a short one, and my coma corrector 55 millimeters away from the camera sensor. Good to go. This is M101 Pinwheel Galaxy, and it is the result of me following direction finally and doing the setup correctly. Look at all the stars. They're all around everywhere. The one that looks like an egg shape is actually two stars, one next to the other. But this is absolutely gorgeous as far as the stars are concerned. I love it. So there you have it. You've seen my lows and you've seen my highs. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Kevin Francis. And remember, the sky is only the limit when your mind is unwilling to fly. So go beyond. Thank you.